In the wake of that theft of Target customers' information, those who value their internet may want to know exactly what they can do to keep all of that information and the equipment safe. Let's find out. Let's we have an it. expert right here. Bobby Perez from Simple Computer Repair joins us live. You have some tips today for us to make sure that we don't get one of those dreaded computer viruses at our house. That's correct. Just five simple little tips that the computer user at home can, you know, just uh, use so that they can avoid these viruses. You know, one of the first things is just read before you click. You know, there are so many pop-up windows that are just inundating people's computer screens while they're surfing the web. Just read it before you click on something. Be careful. Um, know your antivirus program. You know, be familiar with it. Know what it looks like. Uh, you know, when the, how the windows look like when they do pop up. Because there's a lot of pop-ups out there while you're surfing the web that pretend to look like an antivirus ah, program right. and think they that it's trip true, it's people not. right yeah. there. You know, so get familiar with your antivirus program. And when you say free isn't always free on the <clears throat> internet, what, is, what do you mean by that? Well, some, a lot of apps that are purchased from trusted providers um, will have ads in them. And, they, and, and sometimes the, these ads will bring in other viruses or malware that will hurt your computer. Right. Or if uh, it'll require to install a program to be able to do something, and then that program then oh will bring oh some mal malicious things in. Okay. So be careful with that. You know. So that's four. What's uh, that's three? What's three. four on the list? It says understand uh, your web browser. Understand your web browser. A web browser is just a means to view the internet, um, just to view websites. You know, so understand the way it works. Uh, all the web browsers, there's very uh, various of them out there. They all view the same internet, so it. You know, some people think that one web browser can be better than the other or faster or that they need to install these add-ons to make their web experience quicker and it's mostly not the case. And then when you say learn how to properly close a web browser window, it's not just click on it and you're out, it's more complicated? Well, that can get people in trouble too because some of these malware windows that pop up, uh, the X at mm -hmm. the top right corner sometimes is part of the entire window which is just one big button. So rather than clicking anywhere in that window, go down to the taskbar along the bottom of your screen, right click on there, and then close window there. What are the people trying to accomplish when, they, when they're trying to get into my computer? Are they looking for my personal information? In other words, are they trying to get my bank account information? Or are they trying to do something else when they're looking at my computer? It varies. It could be uh, to install a virus on your computer so that they can use that as part of an attack on someone else, or another set of computers. Or yes, it might be collecting your credit card information, your passwords, your bank account information. And you know, the, these, all this information is transmitted back to whoever controls these viruses and they can use that for you know, malicious intent. And Bobby, I've heard other experts say, make sure that you are the one who is making contact with say Target, we've had Neiman Marcus now yep. and Michael's stores involved, that don't ever click on something that you think is from Target or one of those stores, you initiate the contact. Correct, initiate the contact. You know, call them. That way you are certain, 100%, that you are speaking with who you need to be speaking with and that you're not being tricked or deceived. That is especially true with your bank because yes. you'll get those, you, you get those things from the bank. Hey, give me your social security number or right. your bank account number. It's not coming from and them. And so. sometimes when you look closely, they have misspelled words and other things right. that can yeah. tip you off that this is not exactly according to Hoyle. Precisely. Yeah. Bobby right. Perez, thanks for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. Hopefully uh, we got some useful yeah. information that will help people at home for Thank sure. Thank you.